This is Starcade, TV's first video arcade game show, starring your favorite video games and some brand new ones being introduced to the public for the first time anywhere. And now, here's your host for Starcade, Jeff Edwards. Uh, thank you very much and welcome to Starcade. Here we are backstage. Our players are warming up for today's big match because today, one of these teams is going to have the opportunity to win their very own video arcade game. You teams ready? Yeah. Let's go play Starcade. Time to play Starcade. Nice studio audience. Welcome. Nice to see you all here, and nice to see you here at home. We're going to have a good show for you today. Let's meet the teams right now. On my right, I have... Paula Martin. Paula, tell me about yourself. Sure. I'm a computer programmer for a major oil company, ah. and my favorite hobbies include playing video games and collecting dolls. And who's this next to you? This is my nephew, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> why unfortunately? Because he takes all my money. Uh -huh. I understand. Your name is... Antoine. I understand, Antoine, that you and Paula have kind of a rivalry as to who's the best uh, game player. That's true. Who's the best game player? Um, I think it's me, and she thinks it's her, so... Um, I win, I right? Really don't know. I have the money. Well, we're going <laughs> to we'll not only have a little competition this way, but we're going to have competition this way, too, because this is the team you have to beat, and you are? Doug Jones. Doug, tell me about yourself. I'm Doug Jones. I go to Royal High, and I like sports and video games. What's your favorite sport? Soccer. And soccer. Football. Okay, soccer and football. And you are? I'm Jeff Jones. I'm 19. I'm a sophomore in college. I enjoy playing racquetball and skiing. And my favorite video game is probably Time Pilot and Robotron. Ah, yeah, Time Pilot. That's a good game. Robotron I'm not too familiar with. All right, these two teams will square off against each other. As you know, our teams are matched up based on their ability in playing today's games. One of you is going to have a chance to win this fabulous video arcade game. Today it is Megazone, okay? So what we want you to do is shake hands. Shake hands, come on, that's it, and head over towards the podiums, and we'll start to play Starcade here in just a second. But first, Kevin's going to tell us about the five games in store for these players today. Kev? Jeff, I hope the Evans and the Jones have their zappers warmed up, because we've got some great games to challenge them today. In the number one slot, it is Stargate, a shoot 'em up in deep space. Next, it's Rock and Rope, swinging through after the Great Bird. Dig Dug, Down Under and Blue for Fygar. Major Havoc, a clone on a quest. And finally, Interstellar Laser Fantasy, a space race through another galaxy. Jeff? Okay, Kev, sounds like an exciting day. Those are today's five games. Both teams had a chance to play them before uh, today's show. One of them, as you know, is a mystery game. Pick it in the first three games, and a nice prize is automatically going to be yours. So we'll let the home audience in on the mystery game right now. Kevin will tell them about that. Kev? The mystery game is Major Havoc. Okay. Now it's time for question. Uh, Jeff, you all set? I'm ready Doug, to go. Ready? Yeah. All right. Evans is ready, I'm sure. Here's the question. First team to buzz in gets to answer it. Answer correctly, you'll pick the first game. How many different kinds of games in the game Journey? A, five, B, six. Joneses. Five. No, sorry, Doug, it's six. And that means that Paula and Antoine Woo! get the first shot. Right. What game are we going to play, guys? We're going to play Dig Dug. Dig Dug. Okay, Dig Dug is a game, and we'll uh, dig underground and see if Kevin is ready to tell us about that. Kev? Well, the Evans could have had a nice job in a nice clean office, but no, they had to go underground, and now they're just a little bit blue from holding their breath, but they are dedicated, digging those tunnels, clearing out those monsters by dropping rocks, getting a bonus by having a veggie snack, pumping up those nasties, Puka and Vigar, till they explode, or just hitting the pump once or twice to escape. This is one dirty job, Dig Dug, but you asked for it. Okay, thanks, Kev. Uh, you're going to play, Antoine? Yes. All right, you're going to play uh, Dig Dug. A couple of hints. If you pump up Figar horizontally, you score extra points. If you can get a couple of the monsters to follow you underneath the boulder, the boulder will fall on them, and then you get some really good bonus points. Okay. And about the last thing I can tell you, and I, I presume uh, Jeff and Doug are, are listening too, huh? Okay. The last thing I can tell you is uh, the next to the last monster you kill, if you're up near the top, the other one tries to escape, you can cut them off. Okay, thank okay. you. Okay, you have any uh, last advice? You're the expert in all these games, you said, Paula. Uh, yeah, well, I admit he can beat me in Dig Dug. He can, all right. <laughs> all right. That's why he's playing it. I guess Antoine, turn around. Paula, get ready to cheer you on. Right down here, Paula, if you will. You have 50 seconds. Get ready. Get set. Play. There we go. Here we go. One. Look out. Look out. Oh, I got you. 
25 seconds, plenty of time. Going down for five guards. Time for some more points. Let's see. Right. Oh, got you. Right. is what you got, Antoine. Not bad, though. Not bad at all. Paula, head on back. Now comes Jeff and Doug. Which one of you guys is the Dig Doug player? I am. Doug, you're going to do it. Mm -hmm. Well, with your last name, you should. I mean, your first name, you should. Right. Doug, right? And uh, how do you think he's going to do? Uh, fairly well. You got any advice for him? Uh, beat him. <laughs> Good advice. Okay, yeah. you have 50 seconds. Turn around, Doug. You ready? Get set. Play. You did yourself proud, Doug. Nice going, Jeff. Good team you guys got. We're going to take a break. We'll be back in just a moment. See who gets to choose the next game here on Star Kid. Today's grand prize on Starcade is the video arcade game, Megazone. Choose your path carefully through enemy territory to take the command tower. The challenges are many in Megazone, furnished by Interlogic. Back now to Starcade. here's Jeff Edwards. Nice, Kevin. Well, Dig Doug's out of the way. Let's see how we did. We'll check the scores. Evans's, you have 1,750. Jones's have 2,750. Not too far apart. Evans is a uh, year behind, but there's still one more game in this round. And then the total points scored on both games will determine who gets to play the name of the game board. So I have, uh, I have another question for you. If you're ready, hands on buzzers. How many floors in Mappy's house? A6, B5. Jones. Five. Five? No, it's six. <laughs> you guys keep buzzing in, and Evans has got to choose the game. That doesn't seem fair, but that's the way it goes in Star K. What do you say, guys? Um, I guess Major Havoc. Good choice. That's a mystery game. <laughs> Kevin, what do they get for choosing the mystery game? It's Veriflex's professional skateboard, the Vectra, built tough enough to be used for fun or handled with ease on competitive tracks. A newly designed skateboard from Veriflex. All right. Okay, you picked the game Major Havoc. That's an interesting game, and Kev will tell us about it. Eons ago, in a galaxy far away, a small band of scientists created a clone they named Major Havoc and sent him on a mission at the forefront of a band of clones dedicated to rid the galaxy of invader robots holding your people captive. Major Havoc and his band of clones are relentless in their pursuit, as you are about to see. Ah, uh, yes, and it looks like uh, Paul is going to play, huh? Oh, yeah. All right, Major Havoc, a uh, couple things I can tell you about this, uh, this game is in the first screen, and uh, Jeff and Doug, you listen to, in the first screen, as fast as you shoot uh, and get out of there, the more points you're going to get in the second screen. Uh, when, you, when you jump, to make a higher jump, hold the button down longer. And you can jump by, by pressing the jump button and turning, and you make that guy just make the whole circuit if, you, if you're good. Okay. Okay? What do you want to tell her, Antoine? Um, nothing at this moment. <laughs> no, you, I don't know whether you wanted to win or not with the rivalry you guys have going. <laughs> no, I've wanted to win as a team. We're a team now. Okay. Yeah. All right. You have 50 seconds. Turn around, please. Paula, get ready to play. Ready? Get set. Play. <laughs> Time. 
Now let's see if he jumps. Good jump. Don't forget your shield. 20 seconds. Very nice, 18,200. Good going, Paula. All right, you guys head on back. Here come Jeff and Doug. Well, uh, Jeff, you're going to play? Yeah. Got your work cut out for you. She's a pretty good player on this. Good score. Yeah, all right. Well, we wish you good luck. Turn around, 50 seconds to go. Get ready, get set, play. <laughs> Let's see where the score froze. 15,300. Head on back. We're going to add up all the scores. The lead looks like it may have changed hands. Whew, this is going to be a close day. Uh, both teams had a chance to play Dig Dug and uh, Major Havoc, and one team now is going to play for a special prize in the name of the game board. We'll total up the scores of both games and see which team that'll be. But I want to tell the Joneses that uh, I read the score down there off this really tiny thing, and I shorted you some points. I said 15-3. I think you had 15-8, 15,800 points. All Thank right. you for the extra point. Oh, that's, well, it was your doing, not mine. Evans, that you have a total of 19,950. Joneses has 18,520. Still close, but the Evanses are ahead right now. Come on out here. Well, the lead's seesawing back and forth, but uh, you have it to play the name of the game board, and that's what is behind you right now. We're going to show you four video games. If you name the games correctly, you win a nice prize, and uh, Kevin will tell you about that. Kev? For three out of four, you'll win Activision's hottest new titles for a variety of home computers. River Raid, Pitfall, the Decathlon Space Shuttle, and Enduro, a home entertainment package from Activision. And for all four correct, first, it's LaSonic's portable AM-FM radio cassette recorder with LED display, separate bass and treble control, and a three-speaker system. A great companion at parties from LaSonic. And a beautiful jeweled pendant from the Miss USA collection at Gordon's Jewelers with over 400 stores from coast to coast furnished by Gordon's Jewelers. Okay. Now, uh, since there's two of you, one of you will have to go first, and then we'll go in order, one after the other. Who's going to go first? Okay, I'll let Antoine go first. Antoine, you're going first. You happy with that, Antoine? Yeah. All right, turn around, take a look at the screens. In the upper left hand... No, you have to turn around, Paul. <laughs> Otherwise, you're not going to see them, are you? In the upper left-hand corner, is that front line or battle zone? That's front line. Front line is right. In the upper right-hand corner, time pilot or red baron? Time pilot. Time pilot, right you are. In the middle, treasure hunt or the pit? The pit. The pit. Can you get the fourth one? Is that turbo or 005? Turbo. Right you are, all four. <laughs> you guys are cleaning up. You've got the mystery game. You've got the name of the game board. Now we'll find out if you can... Uh, have a shot at your own video arcade game. Of course, to do that, you have to beat the other team. Will they? We'll find out right after this. Word. Welcome back to Star Arcade. All right, here we are at round two. This is the big challenge. There's only one game left to play. This time, only 40 seconds left to play it. After that, we total up the scores in all the games, and whoever has the highest score is going to get a chance at Megazone. So this uh, becomes very important because the choice of this last game can really determine things. Hands on buzzers. The mother kangaroo in kangaroo can score extra points by collecting what kinds of fruit? A, straw. Yes. Apples. 
No, as a matter of fact, you, you know, each time you buzzed in, you made a good shot at it, but that wasn't even the choice. It was either strawberries or bananas, and the answer was strawberries, yeah. and that gives the Evanses the advantage oh, again. Yeah. <laughs> they get to pick the game. What will it be? Rock and rope. Rock and rope is the game. Very clever choice. Kevin? You've chosen to put yourself in a precarious cliffhanging situation, and believe it or not, the most you can hope to accomplish is to reach the bird at the top. And it's not going to be easy, but I know you'll try. It's like this. Now pay attention. Stop, shoot the rope, climb the rope, pick up the golden egg for flash power, flash the monsters to stop them, pick up the feather, avoid the falling rocks, and don't move if a monster is shaking your rope. Do all this, and the bird of fortune is yours in Rock and Rope. Well, you can't score points in this game. Uh, if, if you get up to that first ledge in the middle, jump off and go pick up the egg and flash your monsters, about 1,500 points waiting for you there, and then up for the feather. And So, uh, of course, you guys are ahead, so uh, what you want to do basically is preserve your lead, huh? Yes. All right, Antoine and Paula, we wish you good luck. Antoine's going to play it, and you have 40 seconds this time on Rock and Rope. Over here, Paula, please. There we go. All right, get ready, get set, play. Here we go. had a little bit of trouble there, Antoine. Yes. But you guys have a good lead. Maybe able to keep it. It all depends on what happens when Doug and Jeff come down. Here they are. <laughs> well, it looks like they've, you've chosen Jeff to play. Yeah. yeah. Now, you know you're behind points. Uh, if you listen to me, there's a way to pick up points in this game. They had a little tough luck, so you may be able to do it. We'll find out. You ready to go? Yeah. Any last advice for your brother? Win. <laughs> all right. Here we go. 40 seconds to go. Get ready. Get set. Play. Okay, head on back, guys. Uh, you caught up, and you certainly beat them on rock and rope, but whether it's enough or not, we're going to find out. And whoever has the highest score is going to have a shot at their own video arcade game. Evans, we total up your score, and you have 20,870. Did the Joneses catch up? They have 19,840. Evans is one of the winners. Well, you guys won some games, but not yes. quite enough to do it as far as the score went. Nice meeting you, and I hope that uh, you had a good time here in Starcade. Yeah, we did. And we have some nice gifts for you for being here on the show. Okay, oh, thank thanks a lot, Doug and Jeff. And now, Paula and Antoine, have you decided who's the best game player yet? No. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. It's me. Too. We I have a prize it. for the two of you. It's RB5X, the intelligent robot. It's the perfect multipurpose programmable home appliance. It learns from its experiences, moves under its own power, and it can even talk. From RB Robot Corporation, Golden, Colorado. You're both going to be depressed when you find RB5X and you beat both of you at video games. Yeah. We'll take a break and come back and see if they can go home with Megatron. Some of our contestants and some members of the studio audience will receive Datasoft. Turns your Commodore 64, Atari, Apple, or IBM into the hottest arcade game in town. Nibbler and Genesis are just two of the many popular arcade games available now from Datasoft, the leader in home computer software. And welcome back. 
All right, Antoine and Paula, now it's a big challenge for you, a chance for you to win your own video arcade game. There are still two games left unplayed, Interstellar Laser Fantasy and Stargate. During the commercial break, we informed you that if you picked Interstellar, you'd have to score at least 1,557 points. If you pick Stargate, you have to score at least 3,664 points. Those are the average scores of more than 20 other players who played these same games. Now, you reached a decision. What did you guys decide? Interstellar. Interstellar Fantasy. Okay, that means if you score 1,557 points or more in 30 seconds, you're going to win your own Megazone. So, Kevin, right. you tell us about Interstellar. We'll go over and get ready to play. Come on, guys. Space Cadet Runtzer here. All systems are go. Weapons fully operational. Ready on the anti-air zapper for the approaching malicious space agents headed for the ground bases of the alien Zogs. I'm going to rely heavily on my computer, Rabbit, to give me a power surge for critical situations. If there's anybody out there, this is Space Cadet Runcer of the planet Earth going in. All right, all the marbles on the line now. Who's going to play it? I'm going to play. Did you decide that as a team? Certainly did, all by myself. All right, <laughs> <laughs> all right Paula, climb in. Antoine, right over there to cheer her on. You have 30 seconds to get 1,557 points or more. You ready? Get set, play. Come here, Doc. Twenty seconds. That's it for Star K. This is Jeff Edwards. We'll see you in the next show. Until then, I'll boy, your troubles get zapped. Bye-bye. This is Kevin McMahon speaking. Starcade is a JM production.